how about you, Tony? So let's let's say, what would you give? What kind of advice would you give somebody that's out there right now buying? Uh, we already talked about not you know waiting and and that factor, but um, what what should what kind of advice can you give people that are looking right now for a mortgage? Don't assume what you can or can't do. Enroll a professional. Um, I can't express that enough. You know, it's it's interesting in our business that the mortgage, if you need financing, the mortgage is a really important component and a lot of people don't start there. And really that's the best place to start even if you're not ready Absolutely. to do, if you're three, six months out, it's still the perfect time to start so that you can go to work on anything that might be an issue. Um, the other thing I would tell you is that don't assume that you're not going to qualify. There are so many programs out there. We've had this rebirth of what we call non-QM programs, and they're done very different than they were in the past prior to the meltdown. Um, now there's, you know, I call it skin in the game. There's larger down payment requirements, but there's a lot of flexibility with income documentation. There's um, forgiveness at a, a faster pace for any kind of adverse credit events. So don't, you know, you couldn't diagnose yourself of a major illness. Don't, don't pre-underwrite yourself. Go get the professional and be prepared to provide the documentation. I think one of the things that, you know, we take a lot of pride in is we do the due diligence up front and that's really important. And I'll talk to people and people will say, well, I don't need to do that. I know I'm qualified. And, you know, what, what I would share with everybody is that's amazing. And it's, it's not an issue of us not believing you, but if you're selling your house and you're going to take your house off the market, do you want to take your house off the market for somebody, you know, you're, the person you're buying from doesn't have any idea who you are. So right. you coming in and just saying, I'm good, unfortunately, is not enough. Right. Arm yourself, do the work, and that empowers you as their agent to go out, get them the property they want, negotiate the best deal, and to hedge out competing offers. And then the heavy lifting's out of the way and you can focus on those things like the inspections. I'd much rather have all of that stuff done. And now you can really be focused on the inspection and the insurance component, which is where your attention should be at that point. And you can, it, it makes it a lot less stressful sure. of a process. Absolutely. So that would be the biggest thing I would say to people. It's never too soon. Enroll yeah, the experts. That. We, we tell all our clients, that's the... That's the first place you got to get started is get with a mortgage yeah. professional, your bank, or whoever is going to do your financing. <laughs> and, and that's the person you need to speak to before we start even looking at anything because you, yeah. just, you, need, you need to know what the numbers are. You need to know what you could qualify for. You need to know where, you know, where the starting point is. So that's, yeah, that's credit cool. credit karma too, Andrew. I mean, I think um, something that's worth mentioning because most of the consumers, the credit karma has done a really great job at marketing to the public, and so people are operating that credit karma is going to be the driving variable. Credit karma is a really great resource for you to verify that the information reporting in your credit bureau is the information that should be there. It is not the credit model that is utilized for mortgages. So when you get a credit karma credit score, that is not what your mortgage credit score is going to be. So it's it's a good indicator. It's a it's helpful information. And then we'll have people that are very concerned about, hey, I don't want that hard inquiry. Um, right. and, and here's what happens with a mortgage inquiry. So you can kind of um, dismiss that fear or concern, if you will. It's, you know, mortgages obviously are not instant. You don't walk in, get your credit and sign your loan on the same day. If you go to the mall or even a car dealership, you could probably buy five cars in the same day and nobody would know the difference until you stop, couldn't make your payments because you had overextended yourself. Mortgages are done very differently. And the government has been very intentional and the credit model has been very intentional about not wanting to punish people because having that inquiry inquiry done so that you can get an accurate analysis of your qualifications is really important. You know, I always use the comparison that if you have a, a noise in your car engine and you go to the, the, the um, repair guy and you say, well, you can only look in my trunk, he is not going <laughs> to diagnose what's right. going on with your car if the problem's under the hood. Right. So we need to see the whole picture to be able to give people the right information that's relevant and specific to them so that they can move forward with confidence and not jeopardize money or time and the disappointment that can come from not taking those steps. I hope you enjoyed that short clip. And if you'd like to see another one, click right here. And if you would like to see the entire video, click right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.